Hello, the Marathon Seven Daily Season Three, Episode Five. Wow! And last episode, oh my God, the two Archangel really gave the Ten Commandments quite a fight. But you know, in the end, uh, well, let's just say two command commandment. Well, the name is quite hard to pronounce if I pronounce it correctly. Um, Derry really and Monsa Pete. Oh my God, pretty much butchered the name. Well, they sort of sacrificed their heart to like get into this Indra Berserker mode. So they sort of you know went use full power to go against the Archangel, which you know in the end they sort of like, you know, beat the hell out of them and injured them quite badly. So you can say the Archangel, Archangel is in danger right now, although the, the other commandments are like uh, escape the battlefield to not get into crossfire. But yeah, but in the end, Elizabeth sort of you know, got out of her barrier because Midior sort of sacrificed his arm, and of course, you know, it's holy, and so that's why he burned his arm. So, you know, uh, Elizabeth now gonna fly into the battlefield to like make sure that you know the, this battle is stopped and make sure no more consequences have been you know, led to destruction. So, yeah, she's trying her best to like, calm down the berserkers, but I mean, good luck with that, I guess. I mean, they, I don't think they're gonna listen to her anyways because you know, she's a goddess after all, she wants the top four archangels. So, yeah, and of course, we get to see Ghostor too, and of course, you know, we're gonna learn about why the we need to go to the, the angel heaven door or something so yeah i can't wait for today's episode and yes again it's highlight reaction i'm doing good to do this for the rest of the season and of course i got some good reception, reception from last week's episode so i'm gonna continue with this so yeah hope you enjoy reaction today and let's get started shall we <laughs> Yeah, it looks like there is no way to listen to this, what Elizabeth is going to tell them to do. Maybe he's telling them to like, calm down, but I don't think they can't do anything about it unless they fight them. Okay, so Elizabeth is trying to save them, but how are you going to do that? Some holy healing magic or something? Oh my god, Elizabeth, man, whoa, what kind of magic is this? Is this uh, like a full power or something? Oh, nice, Elizabeth. I mean, what are you, I mean, seriously, is that supposed to injure them or heal them? Yeah, it's not really working quite well because they're actually turning to more of a demon than back to the original f uh, human form. Oh my god, he's- Oh, ho, ho, Medios is stepping in to make sure that he doesn't gain the way. I mean, he obviously, you know, he's trying to like, eliminate them. Oh, ho, ho, getting out of Mediotis. Seriously, man, she, Elizabeth's trying her best to play, do some equal stuff. Oh, what happened here? Oh. Whoa, are they actually helping her? Yo ho. Okay, so they are healed. So, wow, well, no, nice, nice one, angels, because you guys try to prevent a catastrophe and they're naked. Well, obviously, because he used a lot of her powers and he's not happy with it. Let me guess, he's trying to eliminate them with the, when they're weak in state. Well, I'm pretty sure someone's in, gonna get in the way. Yeah, near what someone's gonna get in the way. And obviously, it has to be the uh, Diana. Ah, uh, too late. What can you do? What can you do? Oh my god, why is this so deja vu that is banned dating Ellen, Elaine again? Dude, this is such a deja vu. <laughs> Seeing uh, a human trying to date a fairy. <laughs> See, she's, in, she's like flushing. What the hell is going on? Why did he attack? Why? What? 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 And again, with the uh, censorship, what the hell is. What the hell is going on? Oh my god, he's working for the Ten Commandments. Oh my god. So he was backstabbing everyone from the beginning. Unbelievable. Oh ho hi. Ho ho ho. That was a pickaboo surprise. I mean I thought he's like originally part of the Ten Commandments. And you question him why he's a Ten Commandment. Okay, interesting. Dude, you know you guys are in the past, right? You guys, is, you guys they don't know what the Seven Deadly Sins is. So, yeah. And of course, you know, the humans are enjoying the time eliminating giants and humans. So it's like a, it's like a civil war happening right now. <laughs> yeah, he, do, he doesn't know about it. Dude, seriously guys, you guys are still living in the present. Oh wow, just straight up telling him out there from the future. Not gonna take any risk. Logic. Well, wow, someone's pissed because something also got in the way and wow. Seriously, man, she is a snake. She is a snake. Oh, is she by any chance the real Gothor? <laughs> ah, she's a cunny. Go to sleep. So, yep, I knew it. It's the original Gothor. And he's on a wheelchair. Oh, damn. Wow. He looks quite dashing though. I mean, the hair though. 
Well, he created this Gotor so that he monitor the world. Yeah, that's a door, right? I mean, it was quite obvious from the past two seasons, but yeah. He's the original um, Gotor. What? What do you mean by bye bye? Okay, what an interesting episode indeed. Okay, so the humanity decide to destroy Angel fairies because they feel like they're, they're getting the way of, you know, the survival or maybe I misread the subtitle, uh, the, the, the scene right there. But anyways, you know, that's basically Ban's ancestor. He's basically backstab everyone and using his and using this you know kindness to like get into the main territory so that he can like you know like kill them from behind which they sort of just every day so yeah you know some sort of mini civil war happening right now in the fairy forest and oh my god seriously this is a war i can see why the holy holy war was didn't go so well not only because you know ban and and the ban ancestor and his gang sort of like you know kill off a lot of fairies and giants and so sort of lower the amount of numbers and of course you know Gother, the original Gother, we get to see him and well he looks kind of dashing but seems like he's just you know he's trying to betray the ten, ten, ten commandments now because he feel like his, his role is not being uh, his role in this world is done now so he I think the the, the probably they say bye bye is pretty much like a final uh, just saying goodbye to the world because like he may be up to something, but we'll see of course. So yeah, I'm not sure how uh, whether or not um, uh, um, well King and Diana will go back in time to save the rest because like you know they've been distracted by the Gother, and by the I think by the time they get back to the the area that everyone's gonna be, like be vanquished except for the the his sister of course well the 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 first fairy king sister so yeah. Seems like things are going are starting to heat up for in this sort of holy war. And Meteorus is babysitting uh, Elizabeth, and the, and the Archangel decides to help them out in the end because they see some you know wisdom in Elizabeth's uh, action. So yeah, you know some some stuff happening there. But so far, this episode pretty much shows some controversies around um, the how the holy uh, holy war sort of uh, ended, and maybe next episode it could be the end of this backstory arc and move on back to the present. So yeah, hopefully th this next episode doesn't disappoint because I, I kind of feel like today's episode is kind of rushed in some ways, but who knows, we'll see of course. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy my reaction today, give it a enjoy reaction, subscribe to my channel, and see you next video, which will be something. I'll see you guys then.